How's it going friends, Azir Bros here, and today I'd like to share the highlights of our Monaco GP race. We're racing with our team in my career mode, my team career mode. We qualified in P12, there was nothing exciting about the qualifying. It was a wet qualifying, so I was only in P12. Usually you don't rely too much on your engine here, but we had a pretty good start here. Uh, in the first turn we, we were pretty greedy. But um, we couldn't do much about Ricardo and Ocon in, in front. It's it's near impossible to overtake in Monaco anywhere through these narrow corners. So I try to take it easy. And the first lap proved to be very slow. Nevertheless, I um, I did my best just not to damage my front wing to keep the car together. Please also note that Ricardo had like soft tires, whereas Ocon and I were on mediums. So it could also contribute to Ricardo taking off and basically being faster than us. I was also noticing that I was I was keeping my pace equal to Ocon, if not better, and that was pretty encouraging considering my car was struggling in the previous race, but we've been consistently finishing in points in our previous races. We got a P10 in Barcelona, and we were determined to earn points here in Monaco. Our chassis is pretty good, not top end, but still pretty pretty decent. I locked up my tires here. Unfortunately, that was that was the curse. Of my car during the race there I try to be as fast as I can but unfortunately I had to lock up a lot so now we can kind of feel like we got better pace than Ocon and looking at the next lap we were actually able to overtake Ocon kind of knew we got better pace maybe he even had uh, technical issues so we overtook him no problem there and Next, next in line was Ricardo. We were actually catching up to him, but it took us quite a few laps. The key in Monaco is just to remain consistent, keep your head down and just hope that you don't crash into any of those barriers because if you lose a front wing, your race is gonna be a disaster. So we're just doing our best to catch up to Ricardo. We were gaining a lot of speed on him and the reason being is both Ricardo and Perez were on softer tires so us being on the harder tires on the mediums we actually had better pace because it was Ricardo's and Perez's time to pit most likely here we avoided an accident but we still bumped into Ricardo and Ricardo knew it's better just to let us pass even though it was it was uh, it was a warning from the stewards we did not get a penalty all right so we're pitting on a lap 19 to harder tires and to be honest this turned out to be a bit of a mistake because the weather conditions changed again dynamic weather proved to be dynamic but at this point we weren't aware it was going to be that dynamic so i thought i was going to be smart by switching to harder tires losing a few places on on the grid but still we did not know what's awaiting us there it was a pretty decent pit stop and we moved forward Alright, so the car had better pace once we put on the newer tires and unfortunately, uh, just a few laps later, six laps later, it started raining and I could barely take my car back to the pit lane. I was basically holding the rest of the grid. I had zero grip and oh man, if I knew it was going to rain on lap, P on lap 25, I would just simply start with the harder tires, but little did I know that we would need intermediates. It was a pretty decent pit stop, even though it was three seconds, considering how new our team is, and we still didn't lose our position. It was it was pretty nice. Uh, a few drivers in front of us were still driving slicks, so I knew I was going to catch up and make up a few, few positions there. Uh, driving in rain is actually a bit more challenging than you might think. Grip levels are different depending on how rain pours on different sections of the track. And if you're curious, here's a full full lap in the wets. Uh, actually, in the intermediates, in wet conditions. I actually felt like I would have better grip with wets, but everyone else pitted intermediates, so I decided to keep intermediates, especially now that we got them. There's, there's no chance we'll switch to wets. Grip levels are a lot lower. I generally found myself being one gear lower than um, than driving in in dry conditions. Also, I, I noticed that 
my fuel was uh, not actually saving up. I was wasting a lot more fuel, and towards the end of the race, I actually switched to a lean um, fuel mix because otherwise, I wouldn't have enough fuel to finish the race. And what's a bummer is that my race engineer didn't tell me that we're actually negative on our fuel, and um, partially that's why I was I was losing. I was losing grip. I was I was in a faster engine mode than I should have, and that's a that's a lesson for me to switch to lean engine mode when we're in rain. Apparently, it reduces wheel spin in addition to saving up yourself fuel. But I assumed I would still save up fuel because I wasn't I was pushing that throttle as hard. But apparently, we still used up all of our fuel, and I'm pretty sure. Partially, this has to do with my lack of practice in in wet conditions here in Monaco. I was I was basically like a lost puppy on the racing track. Magnussen was always pushing, and it, it was challenging. Not, not gonna lie, it was it was pretty difficult to keep my pace together, and I was lucky to be in P10. It was a pretty boring race until we actually had to uh, yield to faster cars yielding uh, uh, lapping us. It was it was pretty fun. Uh, the key here is to slow down and let the faster car pass, but it can get challenging because the driver behind you gets a little advantage depending on how you maneuver, and they'll they're attacking you nevertheless. So I was I was watching my rear mirror, making sure I start speeding as soon as Magnuson is out of the picture. Here I got kind of confused where Leclerc kind of wanted to pass us, and Magnuson always over, almost overtook us, but I, I kept it together. And uh, overall, it was a pretty interesting race. I felt confident in dry conditions, and I completely lost my pace in wet conditions and rain. Uh, one thing I'd like to note is that drivers in front of me actually pitted a lot earlier, so our gap was as big as a minute, 57 seconds towards the end of the race. I was basically keeping Russell this time around behind me, and we see blue flags again, but I didn't see the car that was lapping us, and I knew it was gonna be our our last lap, so I just try to keep it cool. There is basically no overtaking space there. And yeah, there you have it. We finished P10 in, in Monaco. I uh, really want to say thank you to everyone who watched these highlights. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. I'll try to make them as short as possible and uh, it's a lot of fun. I think uh, F1 2020 is an awesome game and we got Lance Stroll as the driver of the day. Totally, I intended to pun him, but hey, if you like this channel, if you like the videos, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'll see you next time.